जय हिंद दोस्तों सो टुडे इन माय ब्लॉग द टॉपिक इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्पेशली फॉर दोज हु आर कार एंथुसियास्ट एंड वील टॉक अबाउट माय ओनरशिप एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ एन डीजल नेक्सन फॉर ए पीरियड ऑफ लिटिल लिटिल लेस देन सिक्स एंड हाफ इयर्स सो देर इज ए लिटिल हिस्ट्री बिहाइंड यू नो द नेक्सन so i'll come to the details of nexon but uh, let me tell you the story behind it i was uh, owning a ritz and already a s cross diesel uh, in my stable uh, so in the year 2016 i just to, while surfing the net i came to uh, see that uh, that prototype model uh, of nexon being displayed at the geneva auto sh auto shop 2016 that particular show that prototype which is almost production ready it had you know absolutely captured my imagination the design was uh, absolutely unique something very much different apart from the uh, crowd and it really caught my attention i followed it, followed it in whatever way i can in in the in a, a net or in uh, print media and uh, as the design evolved and uh, uh, in 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 sometime in september uh, 2017 the car, car was launched nexon uh, the nexon was launched in two two uh, two trims i mean like uh, petrol and diesel both though my running was not very high and uh, i really not not needed the diesel but um, when i had the petrol is a three port engine and uh, turbo charged but uh, and the uh, diesel is a four cylinder uh, robot truck uh, 1.5 liter diesel uh, producing 108 bhp and 260 newton newton meter of torque i thought that that one will be good i took a test drive i came down from shillong i i am from shillong basically uh mech long mehala in north east india and uh, the the demo car did not reach the shillong uh, you know showroom but i came to know that you know the tata motors uh, passenger car showrooms at that point of time in 2007 i'm talking about was very few in in north east india and except in big cities like shillong or guwahati in the other parts it is very few so i heard that you know in guwahati that uh, uh, demo car is available uh, in a place called kamakha motors i came to see the car um, i took a test drive of the petrol i could not take the uh, test drive of the diesel um, but i somehow thought okay my petrol was good but uh, you know i thought maybe it's better to move the diesel because having already owned a diesel uh, you know s cross i was driving one uh, along with the ritz which is which was also ritz was also a fantastic car i really don't know why maruti discovered that way, uh, that particular model so uh, i decided to go for that you know four cylinder engine turbo charged and uh, and uh, to uh, i booked the white white one and uh, i took the delivery on 16th of december 2017 the first uh, batch and um, then it was something like i fell in love with nexon it was awesome it was driving dynamics of nexon diesel is was and is still damn good it's running perfectly smooth climbing up the hills of meghalaya you know effortlessly it has got three drive modes and all those things so those things i'll come to you know uh, in detail about uh, my nexon and by the way i named my nexon as white hippo so everybody you know my friend circle they know that white hippo means my nexon diesel so i'll show you the nexon diesel so uh, this is the brief introduction and i will share my uh, brief uh, ownership experience so what's the deal guys let's go and see that nexon diesel in reality mm.
So guys, uh, this is my white people, Excel Diesel. And uh, like I wanted to say that uh, this uh, Nexon uh, has been with me for a little less than six and a half years. So my uh, ownership experience in short, very briefly, about uh, this uh, Nexon, which has served me so well. So if you see this is ML registration, ML registration and uh, the car here is um, now standing still but you know when it runs it runs real wide so i'll tell you a little bit more about that car but let me take uh, you along the uh, of, the, uh, of the car so here is the you see the design this is the this is the first edition of Nexon and you know now the second update of Nexon has come which is uh, really very beautiful from outside but uh, from inside I don't know I can't say uh, the looks are subjective so if you see this uh, Nexon uh, this is a, the old one it's a decent one it's a decent one, it looks good, it looks trendy and at this, uh, you know, uh, six years back, this particular model was uh, and, and, uh, a little hatke from the crowd. Baat ohi tha, ki jo hatke hai, usi mein mere ko dil aata I don't follow the heart. So, this next one is really beautiful. Uh, when it comes to the, there is a little coupe roof over here and uh, you can see some stickers I have added a very little modifications uh, you can understand the Lion, uh, Lion Cup uh, Lion King sticker and uh, and yes here is the one more sticker this is uh, I'm, a, I'm proudly displaying this badge this is for TNT the, this is a pan Indian group the Nexon tribe so I am a member of Nexon Tribe and another simple modification I have done is here I have put a sticker of Nexon and uh, I guess it looks enhances the look. Now let me go into inside the cabin and this is the rear door so let me open it and I want to show how the Nexon dash looks like. To me one of the major reason why I like Nexon is that you know that dashboard the dashboard is so tastefully designed and at that point of time when there was a very less you know 10 inch screen or you know, 12 inch uh, laptops uh, type of screen on the cars uh, this 7 inch screen is sufficient enough in fact uh, I don't like this big big uh, screens uh, it feel like you know you're not driving a car but you were driving a something and a machine with a laptop on. I'm not trying to be judgmental, but uh, see the colors, see the textures, see the design elements of the dash. And this is very important for a driver like me because I will be you know, sitting here in the driver's seat and then I should feel comfortable. I should feel good. I should, I should feel homely. I should feel stylish. That I'm staying, I'm sitting in a car whose interior is a very good thing. It's a very good thing. So, this is very tastefully designed. The first generation Nexon had a, a shade of uh, gray and light gray, and that is very nice because you know, otherwise, the cars do really get uh, very dirty with a lighter shade. So, I have uh, these are the back seat things uh, doors and uh, I have put on a cover but you know uh, after after two years I have put on a cover because the original OEM uh, you know fabric uh, was a little bit you know uh, uh, damaged so I put on a cover but again I did not opt for a PU leather 
or, or PU leather or whatever you see I have again put up a fabric uh, upholstery and uh, this really feels good uh, this is uh, warm in the winters and cool in the summers so here we go and here I am in Tripura Road of uh, Guwahati. So, if you see here, uh, my Nexon, this has served me so well. I really love my Nexon. Uh, this sticker is from Kerala. Recently, we went for a Kerala trip. I did not take the Nexon, I went by flight because it is too far away from here. So, here it is. This. Uh, this beast, my white hippo, has got three drive modes, which are city, normal, and eco. Uh, city, sports, and eco. Uh, I generally drive in city, but uh, whenever I'm getting a, a good opp an opportunity, I drive in sports, especially when the when there are a lot of passengers and uh, the dicky is full and uh, you climb the hills of Meghalaya so I put this thing and here is my Baba Ganesh so this is the thing so how has been the driving experience so well the next one has given me some troubles to be very honest when I bought the next one in 2017 there was hardly any car hardly any next one uh, which is uh, which was available in uh, 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 on the streets. In fact, I would I imagine uh, you know uh, those days we people used to look at this car and you know they will they will stop my car and ask which model it is, which which car, which company. So I used to tell them that that was in Shillong and. Sometimes, you know, as, we, as I used to travel, I see another next one coming or, uh, you know, going side by side and we get excited. So if uh, another next one was coming from the opposite direction, we would wave to each other. So the next ones were very limited in number. Huh? But I did not follow the heart. I did not go for Creta. I did not... Uh, go for any other brand Ford EcoSport was uh, another option that I wanted to uh, explore but I uh, you know at the end I decided for Nexon thank God because uh, Ford has uh, gone away from India very sad very sad because Ford is EcoSport is a gem of a car now has it not given me any trouble of course it is of course it is. Initially there was some rattling news in, uh, noise in the, in the dash and there was one uh, incident where uh, since I bought the car in the month of December and there was hardly any rainfall, so in the month of March, one day, I found that my one of the tire is, you know, uh, needs to be replaced. So I opened the dicky and I found that inside the dicky where the tire is placed, there is a lot of water. And when this lot of water came, uh, I took it to the, you know, TAS, uh, Tata Authorized uh, Service Station. And they took two days to find out how the water shifted into the dicky, in the, into the boat. Ultimately, it was found that this rear assembly of the lights, now here, the and there is a hole through which the wire comes in into the light system but whereas in this part the particular that hole through which the wire comes there was a washer but in this part on the right hand side there was no washer and as a result when it rained and in Shillong you know this is one of the uh, very heavy rainfall area the, when it rains the water seeped into the boot through this hole so anyway that was rectified immediately and there was uh, hardly any trouble there was another trouble for you know uh, uh, about uh, two and a half years back um, regarding the gearbox 
I had to change the uh, class plate and everything. But now, since then, it has been running super smooth. I want to end this session with my favorite white hippo here. It will be very difficult to let it go from my stable. But uh, I don't have any option, I guess, uh, because I don't have the space in Shillong uh, to park two cars. Uh, I will be definitely heartbroken, but I have to, I have to, you know, flow with the time. The life must go on. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video and uh, share it with your friends and family. I'll be very happy to see the number of you know subscribers growing in my blogs. Thank you very much. Signing off, Eddie Roy.